In this video, we are going to discuss about the extended access list configuration and how we configure it in the topology. We will be looking into it practically. So here we wanted to discuss about the extended access list configuration on this packet tracer and as we all know about the ACL that this is an extended version of the access list. So we will use one router, one destination server and three pieces here. And you can see the switches in this example topology will only used for the port need. So and also when you discuss about the extended access list which are little complex. So if you compare with the na normal standard ACLs they are a little bit complex. So with extended access list we can restrict or allow specific things like destination, protocol or port. So in the extended ACL example so we will allow or deny ICMP protocol through the server. So as we know that ICMP is a ping protocol here PC0 and PC1 will be allowed and PC2 will be denied here. So let's start to configure the router for our extended ACL. So this is router 0. So this is the router. When you type enable it will come with the asterisk mark. So when you enter configure terminal it enters with the configure terminal. Now we give IP access list extended to 100 number. So when you type in enter it will you can see config e extended NACL. So we give permit ICMP address 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 and given subnet mask 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 and we will give host 20.0.0.5 so we can also deny ICMP host 10.0.0.5 as host 20.0.0.5 0 0.0.5 as host unreachable. And click on and again type in end. So you can see configured from console to console. So it has config configured from console to console. So here we permit the PC0 and PC1 with permit line and the and then the used wildcard mask also is permitted. So we will talk about this wildcard mask and the permitting here. And you can also use 20.0.0.5 with the subnet mask of 0.0.0.0, .0 instead of host. 20.0.0.5 this, this is the same meaning actually so in the second thing we denied it we denied the ICMP from PC2 to server so here also we use the keyword emphasizing one IP host address now we have to add this extended access list to the interface so we will add this access list to the interface fast ethernet 0 one enter configure terminal okay and now type in interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 give me interface mode IP access group hundred and out 
then end so we have added this access list 100 to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so we have to now verify extended access list verification here so let's verify the combination here we will ping from PC to the server and check if it is successful or not for our configuration so first we'll choose PC 0 and PC 1 can ping the server but PC 2 cannot so we'll just check with the PC 0 So here we will ping 20.0.0.5. So we have received 3, you see time dot 1. That means it is pingable. So from PC0 we are able to ping the server. So we'll try it from PC 2. It has to deny actually. So go into the term, going into the command prompt, ping 20.0.0.5. You can see clearly destination host unreachable. So this is how the extended access list works out. Okay, and this is all about the extended access list configuration.